likes yeah. it. Oh, yeah, I loved it. I loved it. Oh. And I love that you guys are growing up and it's just, you know, it's like just from seeing you from that to that to that. <laughs> <laughs> it's weird. <laughs> oh. oh, I'm really glad you like oh, that. Oh, no, it's great. Really I have two like sons that. and I know they're really looking forward to this. So, yeah, oh, it's, okay. it's good. Okay, uh, congratulations. What a spectacular job you did in this. Oh, thank you. Um, how excited or nervous were you to take on this chapter of Hermione's life? Um, I have to say I was very nervous, actually. Um, more so than I have been in any other film. Um, I had a new challenge. Um, you know, before I never really had to... I mean, this whole introduction of, of romance and um, also Hermione you know, in a way, having a real transformation um, from before just being Hermione, very practical, big woolly jumpers, to suddenly turning into um, this beautiful, sort of more probably woman-like um, figure. Um, uh, so, yeah, it was, it was nerve-wracking, um, but really exciting yeah. really exciting and there were so many elements in it which i i really enjoyed i loved learning how to dance i loved all of the um stuff that we did underwater because um i love i actually do scuba diving i uh, do it in the maldives and mauritius which i absolutely love so it was great that i could do that in the film and um there were so many it's amazing you think that after four years you would kind of get a bit complacent a little bit bored thinking oh, okay now the harry potter film here we go again let's get geared up but no 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 um, there's a new director, um, and there's always, always new challenges in this universe that J.K. Rowling has created. Mm. There's always a new challenge. Yeah, no and kidding. Yeah, yeah, I mean, well, let's talk about uh, the Yule Ball, because it yeah. is one of my favorite scenes. <laughs> oh, good. <laughs> Most girls do like that. <laughs> but to see you coming down those stairs, all done up, and the beautiful dress, and just take me through that, because, of course, as you said, Hermione, we always see her bookworm, and, oh, my God, a girl's dream to be treated like that. I know, it's... um. It's meant to be um, a, in Pretty Woman, Julia Roberts kind of turns around on that stool and you see her all, like, all dressed up and everything. I think it, the way that she's written it and the way that Mike perceived it is that it is, you know, a really magical moment where she's barely recognisable from what she was before to what she is now. Um, Oh my God, the pressure to get that bit right. It was killer. I did not know there were so many ways you could walk down a flight of stairs, honestly. The amount of directions. Make sure that your shoulders are back, but don't make it too clumpy. Make sure that it flows. I was like, okay, oh my God, I'm gonna fall down these stairs. Um, but yeah, hopefully it came across well. Oh, it did, it was just lovely. I loved it. I could watch it over and over. Oh. Um, what continues to impress you about Daniel Radcliffe? Because boy, was he put through the ringer in this film. He really was. and. Um, I'm not saying I'm, pff, he's not slipping me five pound notes to say this about him, but um, I have so much admiration for Dan. I really do. I really, really, really do. Um, what he does, um, he's amazing. He, you know, um, the stunts he had to do in this one, um, I mean, I don't know whether you, when you go swimming afterwards, you feel really tired and really hungry. I can't remember the exact number of how many hours that boy did underwater, but he did so many hours. He, I mean, full days underwater. He did he did all the stunts himself, and um, he's there every single day. I mean, to some extent, because I'm not the main lead, I kind of get some time off, but he's there all the time. And, and yet, he always is the one with still... I don't know how he does it. He keeps going. He's still so enthusiastic all the time, and he always gives... Everything, his everything, literally. Every scene, he always gives it his all, and um, he works so hard. And um, I think he's, it's particularly in this film, he was. I thought he was great. I thought he was so good. I thought no, he was so all good. Were. You all were. But I mean, <laughs> the, the teenage angst thing must be really interesting too, because here you were all growing with these characters, but now, like, you've got to be kind of relating on the same level a little bit as Hermione. Yeah. yeah. Um. Yes. Um, well, yeah. I mean, I'm the same. I'm pretty much, I'm a little bit older than she is, but not very much. Um, so kind of everything that I'm experiencing in a way she kind of is. And there's a bit of a parallel between what's going on. So there's a lot of stuff that I can relate to yeah, her. Yeah, I'm sure. Having Mike Newell must have been wonderful. What was it, what was made him special for this particular film? Um, I think um, in this film, uh, it was particularly important there's a very human element. There's the boys are kind of arguing. There's this whole instruction of romance. Um, 
there's a lot of um, sort of personal development in each character. And I think that Mike Newell was the man for the job. He's famously renowned for being an actor's director. Um, and uh, it's true. <laughs> it really, really is true. I think um, it was a real focus for him. And I think that he made, you know, um, he made it real. Um, I think, uh, I hope, and I, I think this is true, that, that um, anyone sort of around our age or any age will be able to relate to what they see on the screen. And I think a lot of that is, is down to what Mike's done with it. And he's done a great job. Uh, the last five years, you've, you're, you know, you're practically brothers and sisters with, <laughs> with yes. Rupert and Daniel. How has this relationship changed over the years? And you know, just what's it like to be together, the three of you? Um, I think we have a very special kind of friendship because Dan and Rupert are really the only two people in the world that know what it's like to have had what has happened to me, um, to them as well. Um, it's always been really nice um, for me to be, I mean, it's really nice that in a way that there's three of us and it wasn't just like Harry Potter and he hasn't got any friends <laughs> or whatever because um, it's really nice that we're being able to share everything because, you know, it, at times it can be extremely overwhelming and there's always so much going on and um, it's just really nice to be able to talk to, to other um, friends about it and it's nice that, you know, when we're working, I've got, got two friends there. So yeah. Are you really just nice. about to start the next one? Are you excited about it? Oh, my God. Well, to be honest, I haven't actually heard that much about it. Um, I mean, I've met the director, which was actually very exciting because... Um, New director David Yates, mm -hmm. um, and um, he seems really, I'm really excited about him. Um, I think he's going to bring again something new to it, which is I love the fact that we get a new director every time because it, it brings new challenges and and a new kind of um, his new idea about how he sees Harry Potter. So it's great. Well, best of luck to you. This is Thank spectacular, you. and you're just gorgeous. Just gorgeous. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs>